Welcome to Khan Middle East. Welcome to the Republic of Uzbekistan. Welcome to Tashkent. And welcome to Huawei Seeds for the Future. Huawei Seeds for the Future is taking place. The regional finals for the Middle East and Central Asia in the Uzbek capital of Tashkent. We're here at the Ministry of Digital Technologies. And the opening ceremony is about to start. This year's event sees 150 students from 14 different countries compete for the finals, which will take place in China. Now, Seeds for the Future was first established in 2008, and over the years, more than 18,000 students from over 141 countries have gone through the program and benefited immensely. Now, the program, of course, spearheaded by Huawei is actually supported by over 360 government and private entities, as well as heads of state. It's a truly global initiative that Huawei has been running for almost two decades that benefit those seeds for the future. Bringing together high-ranking officials from the Ministry of Digital Technologies of the Republic of Uzbekistan, UNDP, University of Dubai, Research Institute of Environment and Nature Conservation Technologies, and Huawei, the panel discussion was based around the future of ICD talent and the pivotal role it will play in shaping the future of digital economies. Dear professors, students, media friends, Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, warmly welcome to this opening ceremony of Huawei 2024, Stasis for the Future, Middle East and Central Asia. First of all, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our Uzbekistan government. Under the theme of ICT talent, youth power, driving digital innovation, and shaping the sustainable future of the ME and CA region, public-private partnership, and open collaboration for shared success. Guests on the panel included His Excellency Karim Jonov Rustam, Deputy Minister of Digital Technologies of the Republic of Uzbekistan, Professor Watik Mansour, Dean of the University of Dubai, Nuruddin Samatov, Research Assistant at the Research Institute of Environment and Nature Conservation Technologies, Bunyod Aviliukolov, Program Analyst and Effective Governess, UNDP Uzbekistan, and Duke Zhang, Vice President of Public Affairs, Huawei Middle East and Central Asia. Now, over the week, students will also have the opportunity to do some essential cultural exchange. Now, what does that mean? Huawei and Seeds for the Future have come up with a very, very clever idea under the name of Global Village. Now, Global Village provides each student from different countries to bring together their national costumes, their cuisine, their ideas, and display them in a wonderful area, which will actually take place at Amity University, one of the many universities here in the Uzbek capital. This will provide the students, again, with some essential scene and very important one-on-one -on -one time with their peers to exchange ideas, uh, exchange cultures. And um, that is actually one of the main points of the whole Sheets for the Future. It's not only about learning and uh, academic learning, rather, but you also have cultural exchange and cultural learning. Under the seeds for the future, there is a clever initiative, a clever program, which is called Tech for Good. Now, Tech for Good presents these students with challenging situations where they need to use digital technologies to solve these issues. And it really gets them to think outside the box. It gets them to think about social issues and how they can address them using their digital technologies and really challenges them. This past week shows that the Seeds for the Future program has once again demonstrated that with the correct initiative and the support, the sky is the limit for these young, brilliant minds who will contribute to a brighter future and that they are all winners. <laughs> 